Jockey wheels, or pulley wheels if you prefer, have a couple of very important jobs on your bicycle. First of all, they help move the derailleur across the cassette, allowing you to choose your gear, as well as keeping the chain nice and tensioned. Sadly though, they do get worn out because they turn literally thousands and thousands of times. And well, where they're positioned, they're right in the way of any gunk which is flying up from the road as you ride along. So today, let's look at how to replace them and when to replace them. How do we know then when to replace those little jockey wheels? Well, firstly, have a look at the teeth. Now, if they're worn away, then yep, they certainly need replacing, as well as if they are sharp like shark's teeth, because that means that they're well on their way out and the chain could risk not engaging perfectly. Uh, some jockey wheels, they also come fitted with sealed cartridge bearings. And whilst they can be temporarily revamped, in the long run, they are going to need replacing. Uh, so how are you going to know then if those bearings are on their way out or in fact already gone? Well the easiest way is certainly to remove the back wheel and then try and turn those wheels by hand. If you're meeting a lot of resistance, personally I'd go out and buy some new pulley wheels. Some of the pulley wheels actually come with bushings instead of bearings and they can be revamped uh, for quite a long time because you can pop them out and you can re-grease them. But today, let's look at how we fit the new ones. So what are we gonna need for the job then? Well, you're gonna need some new pulley wheels in there. And whilst there are a huge variety out there, don't go buying the wrong ones. Why? Well, the chain needs to engage with them and still pass through the cage of the rear derailleur. Uh, now, this one, for instance, has 11 teeth on the actual pulley wheels. And if I try to fit 12 teeth, well, it's very unlikely that chain's gonna work efficiently, if at all. So don't go buying the wrong ones. That's the first tip. Uh, second one, now you can get different ones with different bearings, for instance, and a sealed bearing is generally gonna spin a little bit smoother than that with a bushing. And you can even get ceramic bearings in there too. And considering the number of times those pulleys spin, maybe that's an option for you if you're really looking to set a personal best. Now, not all pulleys are the same. And in fact, in most of them, they are even identifiable by either upper or lower, or guide or tension, or G or T and they are specific to each part of the rear derailleur. So that's important to remember because the guide pulley sometimes has a small amount of lateral float in it, which takes up any differences in tolerances between your indexing and the actual rear cassette spacing. So it's worth bearing that in mind and do not mix them up. Now the easiest way of actually replacing the pulley wheels certainly has to be by removing the rear wheel from the bike and changing them individually. That way you're not gonna have all different bits and pieces laying all over the floor. So I'm gonna start by removing the upper pulley or the guide pulley, depending on what is on the side of your pulley wheel itself. So you simply hold the cage of the rear derailleur and then undo, in most cases, it's three millimeter uh, size Allen key bolt. Remove that tiny little bolt, put it somewhere safe, don't wanna lose that, and then simply remove that pulley wheel. So before you go fitting your upper or guide pulley, make sure you're fitting it in the correct direction. In most cases, the writing will be facing outwards, and in some cases, even a little directional arrow. So pay attention to that too, because although it may look to be going in the wrong direction on first look, it's actually not because of the way that your chain wraps around the pulley and then wraps around the cassette to go forward. Now before you tighten up those pulley wheel bolts, make sure that either you're using thread lock if it's recommended by the manufacturer, or alternatively, a little dab of grease before torquing them up to the recommended torque setting. Next up, it's time to replace that tension pulley. So it's exactly the same process of the guide pulley. So you're just going to want to remove that three millimeter bolt and then keep it somewhere safe again and then drop that pulley out of the mech. So again, give inside that mech cage a good clean up because it's amazing how much dirt and grime does get in there. And in my case, even a little bit of thread has got in there somehow. Now it's just the case of refitting that tension wheel. So again, pay any attention to any writing on the side which is telling you the direction of travel which it should be going in. And then just place it inside of the mech cage. And then with your little bolt, place it in. Of course, again, sticking to any recommendations about using thread lock or such like. And then torque it up. 
Now it's just a case of refitting really your rear wheel. Now if you find that for some reason the run of chain is not how it should be, don't worry, just simply remove the offending pulley wheel and refit it with the chain in the correct place and you're good to go with those fast, smooth jockey wheels that you deserve. Now, remember to like and share this video with your friends. Give it a big thumbs up because now you're going to be having smoother riding and also better gear changing too. Remember as well to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com where we have a whole heap of different products for you to choose from, including, get this, a new multi-tool too. How cool is that? And now for two more great videos, this time how to revitalise your jockey wheels, click just down here. And for another great tech video, click just down here.